how's it going everybody? Playing some Civilization 5. Um, let me turn down the save. Let's see if I can turn down the game volume here. Just in case it's kind of hard to hear. Um, yeah, so I've been playing this game off and on. I was trying to, to kind of get through this particular game before The Witcher came out. And uh, that didn't happen. What's uh, what's awesome though is like I can't get enough of this game. Like this game is is going pretty well. Um, so I'm playing Germany, and if you caught a live stream I did a few days ago, uh, this is the game I was playing then. Um, I've just progressed it. You know, I think I ended on like turn 100 something on that on that live stream a few weeks ago. Uh, not, not even a few weeks ago, just uh, about a week ago or so, right before The Witcher 3 came out. Um, <clears throat> I'm on turn 390. <laughs> I have pretty much covered a lot of North America. Poland holds kind of the Alaskan area. I started expanding into Europe. I This is my first European settlement, Essen over here. And then I've just kind of slowly expanded southward, especially once I could discover oil. I made a point to try to lock up at least one land-based oil while I could, and eventually I think I'm going to expand outward and uh, kind of gobble up that oil as well there. Um, and then I started to move over here. Malacca used to be a city-state. They're not a city-state any longer. They're part of me. And then I started moving westward. Zanzibar is also a city-state that is no longer a city-state, partly because they declared war on me. So, uh, they weren't allowed to stay a city-state much longer. Funny thing is, is I'm not actually trying to win this as a military victory. I was trying to win it as a cultural and a economic victory. Um, the, the thing is, though, apparently Spain has never liked me. And so they kept denouncing me. They denounced one of my allies. And I think it was mainly because they, they didn't like one of my allies. Uh, Egypt, I've... I've kind of just, they've been a friend this entire oh, time. Um, as well as the Iroquois. Though, I uh, I kind of use them as a highway to uh, take over Malika, which was not fun, but they gave me open borders, and so I didn't, I didn't have to take anything over. Um, so yeah, the Iroquois have been a, a, an ally as well. I went to war first with with Austria because they went to war with Egypt and I had a defensive pact with Egypt so I was forced to go to war with them. Uh, same thing happened with Spain and you'll notice Spain is no longer Spain they're Germany. Well they kept publicly denouncing me they kept publicly publicly denouncing my allies and so Egypt approached me and was like look can we just kinda like go to war with these guys and I said you know what give me ten turns and I will uh, I will do so and so I am. That's what happened. Uh, if you're out there watching, I do have the chat room open. Uh, just feel free to uh, to throw me a, uh, a question or something, or just say hi. You know, I don't expect anyone to be watching right now. It's kind of middle of the day on a Wednesday, but who knows? You never know what will happen. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's start building the city up. Jeez, I don't know if they built anything. Maybe I destroyed everything when I was taken over. I think what has kind of helped make this, this was a really easy conquest. I don't think I lost a single unit. And it had a lot to do with the fact that I have Great War infantry and bombers, and I was fighting against pikemen, lancers, and catapults. So that shows you the technological pro progress of Spain. I think my only real technological rival is Austria. They're in the same era as I am. I don't know what Venice is doing. This is literally their only city. I, I honestly have no clue what Venice is doing. Salute. Salute. Vini Vanti. So yeah. Choose production. Also, I was supposed to be Protestant, but apparently I'm a mixture of uh, Buddhist and, and Jewish because the Iroquois and Poland seem to be on, like, religious missions to 
send diplomats and great prophets and junk everywhere. So I've just kind of given up on that. Berlin used to be the holy city of Protestantism, and it doesn't even have a foothold there anymore. I also kind of find it funny I can build farms in the desert. I, I, I'm I, assuming my next battle is going to be with Poland again, because they don't like Egypt, and I've been friends with Egypt this entire time, so I'm fully expecting there to be another large-scale war. Um, so I'm slowly moving all of my naval units to uh, right around, not Poland, uh, Austria is what I meant. Though the Iroquois wanted me to attack Poland, I was still in the middle of my conflict with Spain, and I had yet to decide whether I was going to take them over or not. Um, but they wouldn't they wouldn't accept any peace treaties, so I kind of had to. Yes, that's how I'll justify my warmongering. They, could, they wouldn't do any peace treaties. Again, it needs orders. You know what? You can just kind of sit here for now. I had to build that citadel because there was an attack on Cordoba after I took him over, before I finally took over Madrid. And I I had no choice but to waste a, uh, waste a grand general there, a great general there, to get that citadel because it was literally blocking this highway. Hey, apparently there's an Azubu E3 party that I want to go, that, that, that they want me to go to. I'm not sure I'll be going to any E3 parties. Formal invite to follow. Swag box is provided by Loot Crate. Let's just put you to sleep. I think I have all I can carry on that carrier. Yep. My battleships. You know what? And now I'm kind of... I have an area near... Austria, so I'm going to start stationing troops here. Though I fully expect there to be a conflict between the Iroquois and Poland, I'm actually just kind of hoping, just kind of hoping the Iroquois start it so I won't be drug into it. Dragged. Drug. Same thing. Drug is a made-up word, I guess. I don't know. Carrier has two bombers on it. So let's start moving to south. And I'm going to keep this battleship up here near Poland just in case. You're starting to attract quite a bit of attention. That's not a good thing. We are sorry this has caused a divide between us. Sta offerta non sarà valida per tanto tempo. I don't know what you just said there, guy.
not even sure that was real Italian. Okay. City connection between Madrid and your capital Berlin has been established. Good. thinking I want to move upwards. This is kind of, it's a desert, but it's super well protected because there's only like three ways to get into any cities that would be in there. And there's a lot of good resources. There's aluminum, there's you know some gold, incense, more aluminum. So I may expand this way and then put some forts along those, uh, along those highways. I really want to know what Venice is actually doing. <laughs> they must have a city somewhere that I don't know about. Maybe they're starting to colonize down here. I don't even know. Yeah, let's... Let's move you to Toledo as well. Let's move the Foreign Legion to Toledo as well. Should we move you to Seville? I gotta build a work boat for that. Need me that oil. I apologize if you can hear me sipping on my coffee. This is really good coffee. What do I want this guy to do? Heal you. Fortify until healed. Let's move our battleship southward. I thought I had a submarine around here too, but I guess not. I will be right back. Alrighty, sorry about that. Like I said, if you're actually out there watching, which I don't expect there to be very many, just say hi. Let me know you're out there. Choose production in Dresden. Library. In Cordoba, let's get a worker, because she didn't, Madrid didn't do, like, 
anything with their farmland or anything like that. There's a lot. I didn't raise any of these, any of these uh, things. They were just all not very well done. <laughs> like, who builds a trading post on top of a thing of aluminum? That needs to go. It's an antiquity site there. A lot of work to do to get this up to where it needs to be. Need to go grab that oil as well. Let's start moving you to Toledo as well. So like I said, I fully expect the next war to be between me and ugh, and Austria. Partly because Egypt and Austria haven't been getting along. And that's why that first war broke out. Didn't last very long, maybe like three turns. See? Right there. <laughs> uh, should I just get it over with? No, give us ten turns. Let's get, let's get my guys there. I think I'll turn a lot of these cities into puppets, though. Oh, okay. It's like, why is Poland attacking me? It's not Poland, that's a, uh, that's a rebel. build a plantation. I'm gonna keep you here. Let's move this cannon. Gotta build a road between Toledo and Seville. Seville. you into friendly waters and I can upgrade you to a battleship. You know what? I'm just going to purchase... This is what having a strong economy will do. You can just purchase the units you need.
Let's just build. Yeah, factory's probably fine. This guy, I am going to move down here, though. Let's keep you there, Mr. Submarine. Milan desires Cristo Redentor. I'm just gonna go take care of these guys over here. Let's move the ironclad out, set him up. Those are those are Polish. <laughs> Oops. going to move this ironclad out too. But you know what? I have enough naval ships over there. Let's keep this ironclad here. Let's upgrade that to a battleship. You're still heading south, right? Right, Mr. Carrier? Kind of need you down here. I honestly hate barbarians. I don't know why I have barbarians on in this game. But I do, apparently. Let's upgrade you to infantry while I can. Do I have any other military units up here?
so we need to bring those guys down. Barcelona. Let's work those fields. They're going to stay in Madrid. Let's do that. This. I could wait out the ten turns. And That's all right. They'll be gone soon. Wait out the turns. Start moving you south. Start moving you. Know there. I guess if you use Poland as an enemy, it alerts me with them too.
Okay. Austria just doesn't like anybody, it seems. They were at war with Venice, Egypt, myself. I think the only person they haven't attacked is uh, Iroquois. Ah, rebels have barbarians have privateers now. Zanzibar. Water mill going. And let's build a museum. And you know what? Probably paying upkeep on this ship that no longer means anything. Let's move this Gatling gun south. Let's move you to take care of that. Poland is definitely definitely starting to expand southward towards me. Don't know how much longer I can abide that. Let's build the Hans. Move you, cannon. Let's move you, infantry. Oh, poor little Zveto. Not gonna be there much longer, Zveto. Oh, they've got riflemen. This one may not be as fast as the other one. Though it probably still will be. Let's go get that oil. I just realized I've been talking with Mudon this entire time. P. 
because I'm smart. What am I building there? Where's this guy at? Oh wow, he's like way south. Sotoraria. You know what? I have plenty of bombarding elements right here. We're going to move a cannon towards Milan. Oh, they're building a road. That's what they're doing. Remember that now. They must really want me to build submarines. So they always recommend it. I don't remember exactly how many more turns we have. We got a trading post. Oh, I thought I had open borders with those guys. Let's let's change that. I'd like to be able to move that. Hiya. Hiya. Kalla. Okay. <sighs> you know what? Hasn't been done. All right, I'm going to have to cut the stream here, though it's going to get pretty heavy here soon, it looks like. I'm going to take out Maria Teresa. Fraulein Maria. Are you really attacking me? Okay.
cat dan juga I'm not sure I'm going to occupy these cities. Cool. I think it's got, a, it's got some long range though. Trade route to Kiev. Wow, they've got a lot of riflemen. I've got too many units. Can't even get through a single turn. to cut the stream because I have to go take my wife some some lunch. I should probably go out and buy that. So. Yeah, sure, I'll take your money. Yeah. You, you're the one who proposed it! <laughs> Yeah. Sure, I'll accept your embassy. I really have to go. Otherwise, I'm not going to. <laughs> so, <laughs> take care, guys. Thanks for watching. We will. I will stream the epic upcoming war with Poland. Not Poland. Austria. That seems to be brewing. Um, well, it's not brewing. It's going to happen because, uh, well, I told my guy it would. So, yeah, that's a thing. Thanks, guys. Take care. <laughs>